4.54 billion years ago. Our solar system was a violent nursery, a vast spinning disk of gas, rock and dust orbiting a newborn star, the Sun. Within that cosmic storm, countless particles collided, tiny, grains of dust sticking together through static electricity and gravity. Over millions of years, these small clumps grew larger and heavier, merging into planet-sized bodies. When the surface cooled enough, water vapor condensed into rain, not for days or years, but for millions of years. The skies poured relentlessly, filling basins and craters to form the first oceans. For billions of years, Earth evolved. Continents drifted, climates changed, and life adapted. Our sun, like all stars, is not eternal. Around five billion years from now, the sun's fuel will begin to run out. The core, filled with helium, will collapse under gravity and heat up until new fusion reactions ignite. The outer layers will expand outward, hundreds of times larger, turning the sun into a red giant. Mercury and Venus will be swallowed. Whole Earth's orbit may shift outward as the sun loses mass, but it won't matter. The heat will be so intense that Earth's crust will melt. Its atmosphere stripped away. Some models suggest the planet will be completely engulfed. Others predict it will survive briefly as a glowing ember, orbiting near the edge of the dying star. Today, the sun is about 10% brighter than when Earth was, born in roughly 600 million to 1 billion years. That increase in brightness will begin to change everything. Warmer temperatures will speed up rock weathering, pulling more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Plants will struggle to survive as CO2 levels drop too low for photosynthesis. Forests will die, deserts will spread, and the balance of life will collapse. Water vapor, a powerful greenhouse gas, will trap even more heat, creating a feedback loop. 